Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and we're here to do a reading for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for the likes and subscribes as far. And let's get into this video. Let's get it. Let's go. Go take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. There's the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. All right, y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. I already put a few cards. I'm going to catch y'all up on what I already got. So basically, looking at your energy, you have amazing energy, okay? Your energy is worldwide industry and social media. These three cards alone let me know that y'all are very talented individuals, okay? Some of y'all, y'all might be posting your talent via social media some of y'all gonna be discovered via social media but whatever you're doing where you know that you're talented at this other people know that know that you're talented as well i see y'all becoming very known for this i don't care what you're doing a lot of y'all it says worldwide everybody knows your name everybody knows you for doing whatever you're doing i don't care if it's singing dancing Anything on this list, writing songs, being a comedian, a radio personality, a director, a model, it does not matter. Everybody knows you for whatever you're doing now, or everybody's going to know you for whatever this talent that you have, okay? But there's a, the energy has already let me know that you are already locked in in the industry, okay? Whatever industry that you're in, you're already locked in. You're already known for whatever this is, and you're already destined to become known for whatever this is, okay? A lot of y'all, y'all going to have a start on social media, or your start is going to start, your, your platform is going to start off on social media, but it's going to go so much further. When I say worldwide energy, some of y'all are not only going to just be known in America. Some of y'all are not only going to just be known in your city or in your state. When I say worldwide, it's going to be people talking about you. So a lot of y'all are going to be known on a wider scale, okay? E even if it's for you, some of y'all, it could be literally people knowing you outside of your city, outside of your state for what you do. Uh, you want You want a party planner? You need to go to the collective. Oh, yeah, she two states over, but she's the absolute best. You need to hit her up, okay? This person lives in a whole nother country, but you need to hear her up. Listen to her song. Listen to him dance. I mean, watch him dance. Listen to his podcast. Whatever you got going on, you definitely have the potential to go worldwide with it, or a lot of y'all have gone worldwide with it. If this is not worldwide energy, your shit is expanding, meaning it's not just staying in one place it's not just your hometown that know you for this. It's other cities that know you for whatever you're doing, okay? They know you as that girl that can sing. They know you as that YouTuber. They know you as that dude that can play baseball or soccer. Or whatever it is that you're doing, the person that can play the guitar, whatever you're doing, people know you for this, okay? So keep doing what you're doing because I'm telling y'all, um, the energy is all good for you. Continue to show off your talents. Continue to work on your talents. Continue to... I, I, I feel like there's an energy of confidence coming from y'all. So continue to be confident in what you're doing, even if you just started off, okay? Some of y'all, your your, your um, social media is about to spread. So some of y'all, this is going to be more on social media, but it's like on a bigger scale. So this is, gonna, this is somebody that's going to have multiple subscribers or followers, um, or like I said, multiple people speaking on what they do a lot of recommendations is what i'm seeing from other people when it comes to you like man i recommend you go to her or i need you you need to hire him for whatever it is that you needing people are definitely talking about you so keep doing what you do i feel like a lot of y'all have a huge influence on people okay a lot of y'all have huge influence on people just be careful because i see somebody being very obsessed with y'all um in a low vibrational way okay this is somebody that's very depressed so just be careful because i see somebody from the past trying to pop back up because you are in this energy because you are worldwide known because you are a social media influencer or, sir or you're doing something on social media that that is catching people eye um somebody is in this energy because you are a part of the industry or you are a part of the entertainment industry or you are very talented at something all this to describe your energy amazing but like i said somebody is low-key upset somebody's in devil energy so don't be surprised when people from your past are popping back up these are very low vibrational depressed people 
who are stalking you prob probably on social media or two, they're literally hearing about you through the grapevine. And they're like, wait, I used to be friends with her or I used to date her. People are hearing about you through the grapevine. And these are people from your past, okay? The thing is, these people are feeling depressed, very low vibrational. They feel like their life is not moving anywhere. And to see you doing very well and to hear other people talk about you and what you do, I think it brings this person even lower. It makes this person feel even more depressed. It makes this person feel e more, even more down. Okay, because a lot of y'all, y'all hard work is really paying off. And a lot of y'all, your sacrifices have not gone on, gone unnoticed. A lot of y'all, people love you. People noticed all the things that you have done, all the shifts that you have made, all the upgrades that you have made in your life. Like your hard work has not gone unnoticed. And it's making somebody depressed because they thought that you were going to just be putting in a bunch of work and nobody was ever going to show you love. You was going to put in a bunch of work and nobody was ever going to notice your talent. For some reason, I feel like this person did not want you to be noticed. For some of y'all, if you're, you know, you're very talented, like somebody here is going to be a celebrity. Not everybody here, but somebody here is going to be a celebrity on a bigger scale. Somebody feels depressed because like I said, your hard work is actually paying off and people are actually noticing you. And this person they do not like that shit, but hey, it's on them. So somebody's depressed and very low vibrational and they can't stand the fact that you're actually very talented and people really, really like you. Okay, so this is a very sneaky energy. I feel like this person like sneaks around or creeps around on your social media. Um, I see that, like, yeah, this person's like in a really sneaky, like creepy, like energy because this person did not want you to be getting future events. They didn't want people to like come towards you in the future. They, all these things that you got coming into your life now, they didn't want that for you. So in the past, I feel like this is somebody who wanted to sabotage you in the past. Okay. They were very sneaky about the way that they did it. I feel like they tried to talk about you. I feel like they tried to turn people against you because they knew that your future was really, really bright. Okay. But I think now they're feeling depressed because they realized they couldn't stop your future they couldn't okay it says things these things are to come okay they haven't came yet but i feel like this was in the past when they first started in the past i, I feel like they saw your light and they saw that you can literally do some shit in the future okay it says these are things um that are on the way if you don't like it change it this person did not like the fact that they seen that you were going to be worldwide known or known or people going to like you in the future. So in the past, that's why they tried to change it. This person tried to change your future in the past. And since that shit didn't work, they feel depressed now. Okay? This person knew that you had a lot of things coming towards you in the future. They knew that you were the future of whatever it is that you're doing. Okay? They knew this. But they did not like this, so this is why they tried to change it because they felt like what you got going on now, it was not gonna, it was, it's not set, set in stone. Anything could shift this person, okay? But the thing is, this person was never gonna stop you. They thought it wasn't set in stone, but they were never gonna stop you. They could only slow you down. So this could have been somebody that slowed you down out of jealousy, okay? When you look at this person's energy, we got jealousy. Admiration turned envy. This is definitely somebody that used to admire you for what you do until they realized that, no, everybody likes her. Everybody loves her, okay? It's kind of like that. So this person is very jealous. It says, be careful who you let around you. They'll smile in your face. Whole time they want to take your place. This is somebody that wanted to take your place. This is somebody that saw where you were going in the past and they knew that your future was very bright. So they tried to come in in a sneaky way to sabotage that. It's a very depressed, low vibrational person. And like I said, heavy on the jealousy energy. I feel like this person tried to trap you. They tried to be sneaky, tried to trap you. They maybe tried to get you to do things you wouldn't typically do. They tried to maybe trap you in like a low vibrational energy with them. You take it how it resonates. But this is all because they didn't want you to be where you are now. <laughs> okay? So yeah, this person definitely tried to trap you. But y'all got up out of that energy. Y'all got away from this person. This, like I said, this is all based off jealousy. This is all based off this person being jealous of your talent. This is all based off your talent. Okay? This is all based off your energy. You being very popular. You being loving here. Okay? People love you. So this person had been fantasizing about sabotaging you. 
It's just they're constantly fantasizing about doing this to you. And if you want to know what they were fantasizing about doing to you, this person was fantasizing about making you insecure. This person was waiting on the perfect moment to pounce on you to make you feel insecure about what you're doing or what you do. But this, I feel like this is past energy. So this is almost like somebody... Oh, I got a good example for you. I remember one time I put out a song because I liked it. Um, and this girl commented on my lips to make me feel insecure. Why well, I feel like she been waiting to do that shit. She didn't say nothing about the song. All she said was, wow, your lips getting black. You must be smoking. And this is somebody who was born with black ass lips. So it was like, so this is the vibe I'm getting. Like, let's say you put out something that you're talented at doing. And somebody said some off the wall shit to you. They did that shit on purpose because they've been fantasizing about making you feel insecure because they're jealous because they knew that whatever you put out, whatever you were doing, you actually had the potential. You actually had a future in whatever this is. And like I said, this is something that happened in the past. So like I said, let's say you did somebody's hair because you want to be a hairstylist. And you posted it or something, or you said something about it. This person would come back, or they would comment, or say, make a weird or rude comment, and be like, it, "And it, it may not even have anything to do with what you're doing." Okay, they just want to throw you the fuck off. All right, so they might like make a comment and be like, "Oh yeah," they might even say, "Oh yeah, the hair looks cute." They might be like, "Your eyebrows bushy as fuck," and you're like, "What the fuck?" Or they might be like, "Uh." You might have like, I don't know, you might have like put out a model photo or something. You might want to be a model. And then they might say some shit like, damn, your feet long as fuck. <laughs> like some shit like that. Like this person had been fantasizing about trying to make you feel insecure. Okay. But this is past energy. <laughs> so some of y'all, this person even tried to go as far as to deal with the same person that you deal with. Like this person's very jealous. So anyway, why is this person popping back up? Why is this energy popping up? Some, are they, is it because this person's promiscuous? I, I for some of y'all, I see this person trying to be promiscuous. This person is promiscuous. I see this person trying to maybe target like. If you have kids with somebody, they may be trying to target your baby father. If you were dating somebody, they may be trying to target somebody that you were dating. Like I don't know, this person's weird to me. But yeah, this person like heavy on the jealous energy and I, y'all, this person wants your forgiveness for like, they feel shitty for being jealous. So I feel like the jealousy energy and all that shit they tried to do in the past, they want forgiveness for it now. They were like, yeah, I hated her. I hate him. Yeah, I did anything to try to make him feel insecure, but I want her forgiveness now. Why does this person want, oops, why does this person want the collective? Is it because you are worldwide known? Is it because people know you? People love you? Is it because you've been putting in that hard work and everybody knows you for putting in that hard work? And this person realized they, they only did weird shit to you out of jealousy? Yeah, this person wants your forgiveness because they expected... This person expected whatever they said to you, whatever they were fantasizing about doing to you, whether it was taking your man or making a off-the-wall, trying to make you insecure... This person became disappointed because it didn't work. They they had a certain expectation. They expected whatever they said or did to you to like make you stop. They expected it to make you feel insecure. They expected it to bring you in a low vibration. Okay? And that shit never worked. That, that didn't happen. So now they want your forgiveness because they realize they can't fuck with you. They realize you're actually abundant. They realize it actually did the fucking opposite. It actually ran you into abundance or two, you're highly favored. They fuck with child, uh, God's chosen. They fuck with God's child. Like every time this person tried to do something to you out of jealousy, this is why they want your forgiveness. It backfired because you're highly favored. Okay. A lot of y'all could be Libras or you could be dealing with a Libra, but you are extremely blessed. You're a very high vibrant person. A low vibrational person could never fuck with a high vibrational person's energy, especially when that high vibrational person do not give a fuck. You do not give a fuck. And that's why it backfired on this person. Okay. Um, so you're an extremely high vibrational person. 
You always get what you want. This is why this person wants your forgiveness. They did everything they could to try to sabotage you out of jealousy. And you still always get what you want because you are highly favored. <laughs> okay? You're God's favorite. Okay? I feel like everybody's God's favorite. But you know, like, you know how to manifest. You know how to connect with God. And you are very high vibrational. And at the end of the day, you kept a good attitude about everything. You stayed in a very good energy. You stayed in a very high vibrational and you had the right attitude. So this person wants your forgiveness now because they realize no matter what they did to try to make you feel insecure, you are still going to be abundant. You are still going to be happy. It don't matter if they fucked with your ex or if they fucked with your boyfriend. It didn't matter if they tried to make you feel insecure. It did not work. So now they need your forgiveness because they over there getting fucked up. And I also feel like y'all are very nice and friendly people. So this person's like, damn, I just I did all that out of jealousy. And this person's really nice. Like a lot of y'all are very nice people. Or you're very kind. But y'all made a judgment call on this person. I feel like y'all are very friendly, very kind. But whatever this person did to you, it caused you to make a judgment call on them. Okay? Um, I'm here now. Um No, I feel like I can see you bitches is depressed. It's almost like you were like, you know what? I don't give a fuck because I never connect with a bitch like that. Like, I don't care. You depressed. That's why you coming at me like that. You're sad as hell. You at a very low vibration. That's why you coming at me like that. Like, it's like somebody coming at you because they're depressed. And so that's why you didn't give a fuck. That's why you don't give a fuck. It says, isn't worried about anybody or their drama in their own lane. So y'all have literally mastered understanding this person girl you're literally just jealous and that's why i'm gonna keep popping my shit that's why i'm gonna keep doing what i do that's why i'm gonna keep being abundant that's why i'm gonna keep being happy i don't give a fuck about you or your drama i don't give a fuck about you trying to make me insecure i know why you're trying to make me insecure it's because i'm talented okay fuck you okay <laughs> so it says I, yeah you do not give a fuck so that's why it did not work you're already abundant and you already know, like for some of y'all, it's almost like the most low vibrational person you ever seen. And it's, it's like a low vibrational person trying to beef with you. And you like, I don't beef with the weak. I don't beef with people who ain't even on my level. Like, bitch, we ain't even on the same level, bitch. Shut up. Like, it's um, <laughs> not to even be like that, but it's almost like y'all might have shut this person down. Even if you was just like, girl, you like brush them off. Like, I'm not beefing with you ever. You're just depressed. I never de be for the depressed bitch when I got all this good shit going on. I'm blessed. You're depressed. And it's not even to be mean, but why would this depressed ass person try their hardest to try to sabotage you? Because they're fucking jealous. So y'all did the right thing. Y'all stayed in y'all lane. Y'all did not give up. Y'all did not partake in this person's drama. Whatever this person was trying to get you to do or however they was trying to make, it didn't work. And that's why they need your forgiveness. I feel like this person been over here getting fucked up. I don't know if it's spirit. Yes. This person needs your forgiveness. Because I feel like they have been over here getting fucked up spiritually. Or they've been getting fucked up by people. Period. Please forgive me. Okay. I know I was just hating on her. I know I was jealous. I regret it. Because some of y'all are very connected to spirit, universe, God. Some of y'all... Like I said, they did too much trying to make you feel insecure because you didn't give a fuck. This person really regrets it. Especially because... My future. Some of y'all are very much wifey material or maybe um, if you're masculine, your husband-like material. Why is this person in such in regret? Well, I already know why they're in regret. Because they're jealous. And they tried to make you feel insecure and it didn't work. This person had been fantasizing about that shit for the longest. Like, I can't wait to the moment to say something to that bitch. I hate her. I hate her. Soon as you did something talented, they were like, they tried to break you. They tried to make you feel insecure by commenting something negative. Like I said, how that girl tried to comment on my lips when she was born with fucking black lips. Like, you can't make me feel insecure. You was born with these lips. I got these lips because I smoke, bitch, and I can stop. Okay? Like, <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's kind of like that. Like, somebody wants your forgiveness because they tried their hardest to make you feel insecure. And you were like, girl, I don't give a fuck. I see what you're doing. Okay? Some of y'all, this is all over a lover or your lover or because you broke up with them. This, some of y'all, this could even be your ex. Like, this could be your baby father. 
doing this shit. So you have to take it how it resonates. But yeah, all y'all need to know is this person was jealous. But why is this person pop? Oh, the reason they're popping up now is because they want your forgiveness. They see who you are. They see that you're abundant. They see that they didn't stop shit. They act, you actually became more talented. Okay, you actually became more known. Okay. So they realize that they regret. They realize that they need your forgiveness. I knew I tried to make her feel insecure. I was just real jealous. I was just real jealous. But maybe these people realize, like, you're really laid back, easy to talk to. Like, you're real cool. So they did all that shit for no reason. They did this shit to, like, a, the most nonchalant person. The coolest person. Anybody. Like, you could talk to anybody. Anybody could have a cool-ass conversation with you is what I'm seeing. You're very laid back. Like, you, you, somebody tried to do this to the most laid-back girl or guy. You're very laid-back. You be chilling. And somebody went out of their way because they was jealous. And that's what this person is regretting. I also feel like this person, other people know that this person is jealous. Like, this person looks jealous to other people. <laughs> Will come out jealous. Other people knew that this person was jealous of you. Or they're starting to realize, like, girl, I think you only did that shit because you was jealous of the collective. Or you was jealous because they doing this and doing that. Like, yeah, people people are realizing that this person's jealous. Or based off of what they said to you or what they tried to do to you, they know that this person is jealous. This person looks jealous to people. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Very jealous individual. <laughs> Next, what else? One, two, three. Um... I feel like whatever y'all doing, y'all are doing it effortlessly. <laughs> Maybe this person has to try to get in the same position that you're in and you do it effortlessly. Oh, oh well. Anyway, no, I feel like I could see you bitches is depressed. I am not afraid to finally say shit with my chest. Uh, lost a little weight, but I ain't never lost a tushy. Looking good, but now they all saying that I'm ugly. Looking good, but now they Whatever the fuck she said. Boo-hoo, my nigga, I ain't sad you don't fuck me. I'm sad that you really thought your ass was above me. You're lucky, because I just paid your bill with the reply. <laughs> okay? But, yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting, like. Now I'm hearing the part where she says, we all we all want to see them. We just want to see them, you know, fall on their faces. That's kind of what this person wanted. This person wanted you to fall on your face. They wanted you to fail, and it didn't work. And that's why they're regretting it. Everybody knows that this person is jealous of you. Everybody, like, everybody knows this person is very insecure, especially if you travel, okay? So, yeah, anything else about this person? What's the collective energy? Collective, I still see y'all being in energy where you don't give a fuck about this person. You literally are in your own lane. Y'all really are making some shit happen. Y'all really are very abundant, very talented individuals, so keep doing that. And some of y'all, like I said, you're about to be known whether I don't give a fuck if it's five more people knowing you for what you do or 500, 5,000, 5 million motherfuckers knowing you for what you're doing here. A lot of y'all about to be known for what you're doing and that's what's making somebody feel mentally unstable. That's why this person's like, but I really could not stop her. They're still love. People still love her. People still love him. She showed all that strength even though I was being crazy. I, I feel like this person said what they said to you or tried to get with your man or your woman or whatever this is. Whatever they did to try to make you feel insecure, they did it impulsively. It was like an impulse. Ah, here's my moment. Bitch, your lips are black as fuck. Okay, did you like the song though, bitch? <laughs> like, uh, this person's very envious of y'all and that's what's funny. Yeah, the evil eye. So when they realized that you were talented and you wasn't going to stop, like there's nothing this person could ever say to stop you. They gave, they were giving you the evil eye. But like right now, I do feel like they want your forgiveness because they realize, I think other people are realizing like you just jealous. They want your forgiveness because you don't set your boundaries. You're like, bitch, you can never come around me. I don't give a fuck about you or your drama. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Anywho. Yeah. So a lot of y'all are optimistic, determined, feeling very confident. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I think this person just wants your forgiveness because like I said, they feel it's more of a stupid energy. I feel like this person's energy is starting to switch on you. Like they're like, wait, I actually do like the collective. Some of y'all, they're like, she's so pretty. Like this is somebody that was hating on you so hard, but now they want to switch up. This is somebody that wants to like, 
they might be crushing on you. And if it's another girl, they might be like, oh, but you're so pretty. We should be friends. And like, bitch, I'll never be your friend again. What? It's somebody that wants to be in a toxic connection with you. And if it's like your ex doing this, they want to come back around you because you've been looking real good to this person lately. Like, no. It's just somebody that wants to be in a toxic connection with you. And you're like, nah, bitch, you tried to make me feel insecure. Never will I ever. But the thing is, this person has had a spiritual awakening and they are observing you from a different light. So they're like, I see this person trying to like, like I see them regretting how they was acting and treating you. And I see that they did go through an awakening and they do realize that you are that girl. You are the, like, it was never going to stop. It was never going, you was never going to stop doing what you were doing. You are destined to do what you're doing here. But it's like somebody switching up because they realize they can't stop you. That's the only reason why. Like this person had an awakening and was like, oh, okay. I guess I can't stop her. I guess she is a mystic. Some of y'all are mystics. Um, some of y'all, y'all know y'all power. You know who you are. And this person start to realize like, oh, they know their power. They Like this person realized that you're actually woke. That you actually know your power. Some of y'all are very witchy individuals. Um, some of y'all are mystics here. We got witches, spiritualists, psychics, healers. Some of y'all are in that energy. It's like this person, the veil got lifted. And they were like, oh, they are very majestic they are very magical like maybe they do deserve it i do kind of like her she is kind of cool like no bitch you was just beefing over me you were just beefing with me or mad at me or hating on me because i'm talented because you think i'm beautiful now you want to be friends but i do feel like this person had an awakening so they were guided to be like damn maybe i should just give up that don't mean y'all gotta be friends though that's the truth but why do I feel like if this is another feminine energy, why does it feel like this woman is suddenly crushing on you? It's almost like somebody went from hating on you because you're very talented to being like, no, I think I like her. I think I want her. I think I have a crush on her. Somebody has a girl crush on you if you're a feminine. Somebody that used to hate you and they tried that. I'm telling you, this is somebody that made a negative comment to you, said something to you or two. They tried to take your man or woman. This person has a crush on you now. They like a lesbian now or they just like girls or something. Or if their friends have a crush on you or some of their family members do. It's like people that are... If it's not this person directly that is like... They suddenly switch their energy and they're like, I like them now. I want them. I want... I want to... This is their friends and family members liking you or wanting you. Sorry, that's the wrong card. So you could be an Aquarius... You're a free spirit. Like, I think this person really likes you now because you're a free spirit. So, yeah, don't be surprised if people who tried to make you feel insecure in the past are suddenly trying to be your friend or suddenly, like, they got a crush on you or some shit. And you're like, the fuck? It's because they realized they couldn't stop you. These are people who once were competing with you and they wanted to be in the same position that you're in, but they realized they don't have the talent. Or that you actually were born to do whatever it is that you're doing. So they have no choice but to be like, okay, I can't beat them, then join them. They want to join you because they realize they can't beat you. I don't give a fuck what they said to you. I don't care if they said, bitch, you the ugliest bitch on, on earth. You did not give a fuck. You was like, oh, well, I'm ugly, but I'm talented. Anyway, everybody, listen to my song. Everybody. Let's dance. Everybody, you want to hear my beat that I just made? Everybody, I just painted this. You kept fucking going, and that's what made this person so sink down into their stomach and be like, she's still fucking going, and I did all that. Also, I feel like this person might be embarrassed for you to probably tell what they did to you because I feel like this person went out of their way to try to make you feel insecure, and that's what they're regretting. So if some of y'all are becoming worldwide known or people are talking about you for what you do, I think this person regrets it because if you were to speak on this person, you would. the only story you have about this person is what they did to you negatively. And that's where they regret it. This person regrets that shit because you're very popular now or you're popping. People love you. So it like, let's say they came up to you and they were like, let's say the person that did this shit to you name was Say Say or some shit. And they was like, Oh, yeah, you know Say Say. Guess what you will be like? Yeah, I know Say Say. She was hating on me, bro. She said that I was bald-headed and I had a big back. 
like three years ago, everybody be like, what the fuck? Why would Say Say come at you like that? That's the vibe I'm getting. Like this person regrets it because if anybody were to ever ask you about this person, that's the type of thing that you would say. Like, no, nah, she do not like me. Like she was trying to bully me or she tried to beat me up or she said I was ugly. Like she never, she don't like me. And that's, and some of y'all that might have happened. And that's why other people might be realizing like, oh no, say, say just jealous of you, bitch. Like it's kind of like that. So you could be dealing with a Leo or you could be a Leo. If this person is a Leo, they're low vibrational Leo. Cause it, it came out in reverse. So this person heavy on the jealous and they were competing with you. It's like people are realizing like, nah, she was just competing with you because she wanted to be with the same dude you're with or she wanted the same talent that you have or she wanted to be popular like you or she wanted what you got, basically. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. I actually see y'all in a really, really positive energy. Never stop. I think this person just trying to come back around because they want your forgiveness. They want you to like them now. I think they might also want you to low-key forget about the drama. That they tried to pull you in, but you didn't fall for that shit. You was like, this bitch trying to just get me in drama. Anywho, do y'all like the way I did these nails? The motherfucking new nails. Like... This person feels, I, I, it's like a heavy feel dumb. So y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Um, And if somebody tried to come at y'all like this, y'all should definitely do that. Like y'all should definitely be like, okay. Anyway, and put out your work anyway. Put out what you do anyway. Keep doing, don't never stop doing what you're doing. Because if anybody's saying shit about you to make you feel insecure, they just literally want you to stop. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got for y'all. Hope it resonates. Love y'all. Bye.